You could get in there with a toothbrush and clean all this dust out. Your finger does it too, see? Hello, it's Jeffrey with Real Nifty Vintage. Today I'm here at the Chirping Frog Emporium. I'm feeling a little under the weather, so hopefully we can find some stuff in here and make today a great day. But let's go inside and see what we can find for resale. All right, so right away I found this antique milk glass and I like this one because of the size of it it's kind of taller and bigger this is antique milk glass from about 1900 it's $15 but there's no chips or cracks and look the paint job on top is really good it has the scroll work right around there and the gold and then even on the sides these kind of lavender looking flowers for 15 five inches tall round that's like a good size. That would be great in like a bathroom. You could put cotton swabs in it. You could put Q-tips. Now this one is the one I left last time I was here. And it's sad because it had like a crack in the, in the base of it itself. So that one's still here. But this other one I'm going to get. And actually this candlestick holder, you know, I'm tempted by this. Look how good the color is on that one. It has all of this green, which is very good and then some of the flowers are still on it i actually will get this one i don't find the candlesticks of this so that will be a great thing to get and uh, i'm really excited about that one. Oh, and they have the consolidated now this is also antique milk glass this is made by consolidated glass and it's known as the cosmos pattern very vibrant colors it looks really kind of kitschy at the same time like 50s kitsch but uh yeah, it's antique, so that's really cool. All right, let's put these up at the register and keep going. And I might even look to see what else they have because I know this booth has a lot of great glassware. So I'll just need to, oh, and there's some large Empoli vases up here, $30 on that big one. And then there's amber, the green, the moon and star for, wait, oh, 45. I was like $5 for 45. Okay, so like, this is pretty cool. $11 for a bluebird. And uh, I haven't gotten one of these in so long. I'm excited to get another one. This is Ron Ray, 1990 Bluebird of Happiness. And I like picking these up and it's beautiful. Put this in your windowsill. You know what, something else I'm really excited about? We're still in that same booth, the glass booth. Look at these. There are two of them. And I think these are the coolest things because they are swung right they're dusty I'll, I'll wash them but they're swung but look at the bottom look at that how it's like all beaded or what do you call that like bulging teardrop or something i know that's a term for antique uh, pressed pattern glass but 17 dollars 50. i'm going to get both of those these have the potential to do really well for me uh, each of them so i'm going to get both of those and the the bluebird this here is moon and star it's 45 dollars. it's an amber pedestal like candle dish or a fairy lamp that's kind of different and then you got the amber one here and the moon and star okay they've got all that franciscan apple and desert rose down there and then they've got depression glass here now this is known as boopy that's the pattern whenever it has all these little bubbles in it. Well, there's actually two different patterns. One's called Burple, B-U-R-P-L-E, and the other one's Boopy, B-O-O-P-I-E. This is a little sherbet dish. There's like four different sizes of these. One's a water goblet. There's all different kinds, but this one is the Forest Green made by Anchor Hawking. They did that. And this is known as sandwich glass whenever it's green like this. So it's Forest Green sandwich pattern, glass so that's cool look at these mixing bowls and the jadeite color it's really awesome let's go ahead and put the other items that i got up at the register where they go here and uh we'll keep going but we're off to a really really good start i'm really really excited about that and they have coffee and i haven't even had any yet so I'm really happy about that too. Now, one thing I'll say is there's a lot of, there's a lot of birds here, but they've got like 25 on that blue bird. And then there was another couple. The Halloween is amazing here, by the way. It's just the wrong kind of time of year, but they've got all the 1950s Ross Bro hard plastics and stuff like that. But they've got all these other birds, $19.50 and 
This one here is 18 and 15. Not too bad. In a minute, we'll probably get a cookie and a coffee, maybe. If, if I'm good, I'll, I'll allow myself to have that. You know, this is a really pretty vase and it's a good little size too. It's like that big, maybe about six or seven inches tall. And it has this great coloring on here. It's cased glass as well. So that's whenever you have, for instance, here you have white on the interior and then it's kind of clear with the colors mixed in on the outside. So it's cased, it's casey in the white in this case, <laughs> but it almost looks like an end of day kind of art glass, but it's, it's really pretty. I like the color on there a lot. It has the purple and the orange and the white, and it's just really great. So $10 too. And actually, you know, this was, this is pretty. There's two of them. $10 each. I know for this time of year, it's like so good. Valentine's Day too. That'd be so pretty. Let's look at this other one has more white in it. Oh yeah, that one looks cool. Should we just get the one? I like this one, I think. I like the coloring on that. See how that like dances up the side of it? It's more kind of organic. This one, well, honestly, they're both great for their own reasons, but it has less white in it. I think I'm gonna get that one for 10 as well. Now there's a couple butter dishes here, and this is known as the blue onion pattern, and it's made by Corning. That's the parent company of Corel in this case, but it's uh, also a Corel pattern, the blue onion or the old town blue, also known as. My gosh, this looks like a watermelon, a square watermelon, doesn't it just? It's $24. They have Murano written on it, and it could be. I'm always very cautious to say that. It has all of the Bulacante in there, and it's beautiful. Now this does have also the little glitter flex flakes in there. You can see it kind of catches the light. Maybe you can see right in there. Oh, that's so great, $24. It's very tempting. It's kind of on the edge for me though, you know? Maybe if they can take a little off. I think this mall, if it's over $20, will do a percentage off. The bowls like this are kind of hit or miss. I don't know, it's heavy. I'm very, I'm just, I don't know. Maybe I'll think about it. Ugh. We'll see, I don't know. My gosh, it's like a whole house of home interiors got consolidated into one little basket. You've got the butterflies. What are these now? The hummingbirds, the sailboats. There's some leaves. There's some butterflies with you know, the centers. I've never seen the bows and frankly, I don't need to see them again. And we've got those maybe doves. They're plastic. These butterflies, my grandma had those. These specific ones. Oh, here's some like copper colored leaves. Those are, those are kind of different. I like those, they're $7. A swan, some more birds, a hummingbird. These birds, these birds, ugh, so many. I don't think I'm gonna get them there. If they were, well, the prices aren't bad, but they don't do amazing for resale, so I'm probably just not gonna bother. The sailboats are cool, $10. I'd get those for half, I'd get probably a lot of these for half off. But it's just like today, I'm just not, I'm not feeling them today. Okay, so we are still trucking along, looking for some great vintage for resale. And I've been through quite a few booths now and I haven't, found anything in a while but maybe that'll change i know this booth sometimes does us well so let's see so this is kind of cool it is this b and it's six dollars which would be three dollars today and uh it feels kind of lightweight like a aluminum or something but uh yeah i'm gonna pick that up it's kind of neat like a little paperweight so uh we got the one thing in this booth. So this booth is on sale. They're doing 20% off. And I was considering this Weller vase back here. It's really interesting. You can see it's, it has like the paneled sides there. And it goes from like the, like the big up to the tiny top. And it's a really pretty blue. It's $65, which would make it like $52 with the deal. But I, I don't think there's enough money in there to, to, to make any sense for me to buy it. I like that little piece there next to it too. That's RS German 
iridescent orange cup. I really love the orange and white like that. Kind of too late for, obviously, for the, the season. I thought it'd be fun just for comparison's sake to show you Balik versus Linux. Now, of course, they're 99% of the time marked, so it's not really a big problem, but they've, they're very similar. So this is Balik, and this is Irish porcelain, and it's marked here on the bottom in the green stamp. And it, of course, these are all marked with different colors depending on when they were produced. Black stamps, blue stamps, brown stamps, green stamps. There's two different versions of the green currently. Uh, so there's all different markings and slightly different iterations of how they're laid out as well. This is Linux. Sim similar color, really. You can see very similar. This is Linux, though. And it has the little L, the script L, with inside the laurel wreath there and written Linux below it. The Linux pieces also sometimes have gold accents on them. This is Balik as well. In the Etrusc I think it's Etrusc Etruscan shell or something like that. And there's the bottom of that one. So uh, this one is $30 and the tree trunk is 20. So I'm not gonna get either one of those. This is a pretty bird. It's a purple one and I like the shape of it. $20 is a lot for me to spend on a bird, but this one is very well done and I like it a lot. Honestly, I don't see purple birds that often. I see blue ones, I see clear ones, I see red sometimes, but that's lovely. I like that. Oh, that, I like this. Look at this, it's a Fostoria and it's footed. It's $20. Oh, it's a heart. That would be so good for Valentine's Day. And in general, 20. Hmm. Well, it's, it's kind of like, hmm, I don't know. I like that orange and black there too. Isn't that pretty? Now I'm not sure if you consider that tango glass or not. I need to do more research into that. I don't know, but it's cool. It has the black drip on there. All right, I decided not to do the heart bowl from Fostoria. It's beautiful, but I'm not. I'm not gonna do it. They even have a, a Christmas corner over here with the villages. So this booth is 50% off. I like it. This is one of my favorites because aesthetically they have a lot of interesting things, but you know, I can't really buy much of it. I like this. Look at this. It's a reverse painted. It's cracked. I mean, it's pretty bad, but that's cool. That old like 1920s, 30s frame. Now there's this Fent Fenton uh, custard glass bird. It's kind of yellowed from probably nicotine. It'd be like $15 or so. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> I don't know. Ooh, we've got a July angel. That's really adorable. She has her little hat. This one I haven't seen. I like the red, white, and the blue though, the flowers. Little chip on there. You could get in there with the toothbrush and clean all this dust out. Your finger does it too, see? But, um, hmm, she's very tempting. She has July written on her thingamajig. And it, well, it's 50, $59, so that would be, th so 60, so it's like 30, so like 29. It's not Fenton. It says Fenton. <laughs> Fenton is, uh, not that. Fenton's glassware. This is Lefton. So it's left in Japan. It's really good. There's a bow there. If you clean it up, I think it'll look a lot better, but it's so cute. Little trolley thing, or not a trailer. Oh, I love this refrigerator. Kitty wear, a quality toy. You could put like miniatures in here. Oh, does the drawer not, the, the bottom, the, oh, what am I thinking? This is, <laughs> why did I think that this had a drawer that came out? Did they make them with drawers at the bottom? These old ones from the 50s? I, don't, I didn't think they did. Huh. Okay, I can't get the darn. Okay, apparently I'm too ignorant for this door. Would you? No. I did it. I did it. I did it. I'm so excited about that. Okay, cool. Huh. I like this. It's old. It's an old light fixture. Isn't that pretty? If somebody could craft, like, craft that into something, that'd be neat be ten dollars 
It's made out of pot metal, by the way. P-O-T, pot metal, which just means that it is a mixture of metals. It's very affordable at the time. It's not meant to be like high quality or like silver or anything. It's just like, let's put some metal together and, and mold it into a thing. And that's what they did. And they enjoyed themselves. So they made it. Somebody did somewhere. And that angel with her in her tube, it's $6. And is that a Pringles can? It is a Pringles can. Oh my goodness, somebody didn't have to do that, but they did it anyway. Well, you know what, I, oh my. <laughs> okay, you know, I found this cat and it is bleak, $15.75 and it is lovely. I think I'm gonna go ahead and do it. This booth has is 15% off, so, you know, it'll, what is that? I don't know, is it like 12 or $13 then? That's acceptable. I think it's a $25, $28 item, being a Belique cat. So I'll go ahead and pick that up. This lizard is $25. <laughs> Lovely. Well, I'll just get the cat, and I think that'll be a good thing to do. And actually, I need to get my coffee and a cookie. All right, so I think I did pretty well here at the Chirping Frog. I found a good assortment of stuff, I think. I'm holding the camera and all the bags in the same hand and I feel like my arm's gonna fall off. So, so I have this one free. So anyways, thanks for watching and don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Bye-bye.